I think it it goes down uh, around more than Casa Celeste. Hey. Yes. Yes. This is avocado. You see? Fresh. Fresh. On the road, you see? On the road. Fresh avocados. See? For the comfort homes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is that okay? I'm coming to understand it as I go through. Uh, condominium apartments or a, car, a condominium building so you buy a house and own it uh, they even give you a title for that that house that you've bought but look at how beautiful and comfort, comfortable they are as I enjoy the guava that I just picked live as you saw nothing happened to me both buying and renting hey what's up what's up how are you guys good morning good evening good afternoon good night depending on wherever you're watching this video from if you're here for the very first time thank you thank you for clicking but please subscribe like share and uh, comment by the way, comment and I normally leave my number uh, at, the, at the end of every video so you can always um, contact me, WhatsApp me, um, whatever you want in Uganda. If you need any advice or anything, I'll always be here to help you at no cost, extra free, no cost. So, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so very much. I love you, I love you, I love you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I love you so much for always supporting me. I love you so much for always sharing my content and for always contacting me. Lots of you are contacting me using my number. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Right now, I'm in Nalia Estate. That's where I'm taking you. That's where I'm at right now. When you saw me riding on a border, this is where I was coming. So I'm here already. That is uh, the hospital. That is the hospital. It's called uh, TMR Hospital. It's now there is the estate. It has its own hospital. This is it. This is the hospital, it's called TMR Hospital. Every second count. It's an international hospital, TMR International Hospital. This is it. It goes all the way through. This is it's parking. Emergency parking. That's it. Nalia Executive Flats Project. Uh, that's the national housing and construction company now these these flats that you see here these ones were like the second phase of the construction of national housing construction houses like they were the second phase i'll take you to the first phase this was like the second phase of those houses you see there's so many units only like I do the 
they don't want me to get in but there are those ones so many units now earlier wow you can't imagine this is had forgotten this look at those those are apartments all these are beautiful apartments you can always come and buy an apartment or even rent an apartment so it's okay either way whatever works for you is what you do these neighborhoods are amazing look at these houses look at that see Uganda is amazing this is a standalone we've left the flats these are independent houses see how beautiful they are and I love the fact that there is always green to to the houses there's always a green somewhere So this is where this is the end. Oh, these are also apartments. Okay. This is uh, I think this is a standalone house. So this is where we end. The road stops here. These are apartments. But Nalia is one of those places like of the A class. The A class. This is where they they live. So Nedasebo. I saw the Buddha guy who was asking if I'm going. And I just and I've just reached. But he didn't know that. So Nalia is a place that is closer to town very very closer to town i don't it's it's maybe uh it's less than 15 kilometers away from town i believe uh so it's closer to town and it's a place for the rich like they they exclude them this themselves this side and uh plot here is uh i think i probably think i'm, I'm gonna check and uh, i'll tell you how much a plot is in Nalia, but I believe nowadays they sell these plots in Nalia in dollars. I don't think they even sell them in Uganda shillings, but I'll, I'll make sure of that and then I'll, I'll put uh, a caption here to show you how much after I've done some research. So these are apartments coming up. These are just coming up. These are new. I think they're just building them. What I realize is, uh, I think Nalia is becoming like this is where most of the apartments are. It looks like it has become a place of like mostly the apartments. The houses either they are turned into apartments or so many people uh, who buy here nowadays they buy land and then put apartments for people to buy or people to rent it's both buying and renting it's both buying and renting see it's full of apartments like it's a com it's turning into a community of apartments but high-end apartments of course they can't be uh, apartments that are not high-end it's impossible this is these are called sky blue apartments you see 
amazing. So most of the people who are buying nowadays are making are building apartments but you see there are those high-end uh, high-end houses problem the, the walls are too high look at that sorry look ah, that is doing some I'm, I'm saying like it is Sinalia has its own, you know, Shepherd's International Schools. It has its own schools. And these are international schools, you know. Those are international schools. This community is not for the faint. Shepherds International Schools ACE curriculum. Proximity to town is is maybe around 15 kilometers, so it is very very close to town. Now, Nalia is not for the, for the faint-hearted. Nalia is a place of the rich. So I was trying to make up, uh, to make a research. I asked around and made some, some conclusions. Now, they told me a plot of land. If you want to buy a plot of land here in Nalia Housing Estate, a plot of land, the least plot of land in Uganda is 12.5 and you want to get a title for it it's 12.15 decimals that is if you're measuring in feet that would be a hundred by 50 feet a hundred in length and 50 in width that is the least amount you would get a title for in Uganda by the Ugandan law you understand so that is the least that is the smallest plot of land uh, in Uganda and now that plot of land here in Nalia it costs seventy nine thousand dollars seventy nine thousand dollars that is around three hundred million Uganda shillings you understand half an acre half an acre would cost you I'm reading uh, because they, they gave me this information half an acre would cost you three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars boy <laughs> is that money or what $315,000 and that is 1.2 billion Uganda shillings yeah now when I was talking about people having money that's what I meant so an acre would actually go for 630 million no sorry 630 thousand dollars yeah 630 thousand dollars and that is two that is 2.4 billion Uganda shillings now if we talk money <laughs> now people who live here got money they my god like if you can afford that you $79,000 for the smallest piece of land that is 300,000 300 million Uganda shillings you understand that that is a plot without a house then you have to build on it there are also other estates that come up as time goes on 
and uh, they're a little bit cheaper but they also have the same amenities and same uh, same everything that you would find in Alia here but the difference is they're a little bit further away from from town from Kampala the capital city so uh, it, it really it's upon whoever is trying to buy so uh, that is the only difference but the amenities and everything are the same you wanna say you don't have to worry about anything and other places are also more uh, because as we go on as a country we get we, we become more organized for example this would seem like a very organized estate but there are others who are a little bit further away from town that are way much cheaper but they get exactly the same amenities that you'd find in a, in a place in a community like this so this is Nalia estate now that's the money i've told you and that is uh that is uh, uh, according to the dollar right now uh that is the amount of money you would you would actually use you would need to purchase land in this uh in this environment in this uh estate Nalia it's not far away from town i think that's why it's very uh, not far away from from the capital city i think that's why it's very expensive yes so Nalia baby <laughs> it is what it is okay uh, let me show you the houses in Nalia i know most of the apartments here are very expensive for an ordinary person like me there are other people who actually can afford it and they don't even mind they don't even find it expensive but it is way too expensive for me these apartments you see uh, most of them are condominiums you can buy uh, if you want and uh, for example this let me show you you can buy if you want or you can just rent or you can buy and sub rent it you can buy an apartment and rent it out if, if for example you don't want to stay in it uh, that is also allowed uh, I want to see how these these ones are called these are part these uh, apartments it's a cool breezy area see canary kingfisher residence So it's it's worth the money like if you decided to to buy an apartment uh and live in it but you can even just buy an apartment and and give it out it may be like for example if you don't want to stay in it you can buy and then uh rent it out to somebody else like if you're not in a country and stuff so it still works either way but what i can say is that it's a very safe area for anyone who would want to to live in this neighborhood for anyone who wants safety and a very good uh, gated community Look at the green, the lush green. It's so breezy here, you wouldn't know. <laughs> like it's amazing now. I think this, for example, this, I think those were the first older houses. Oh, this is done. You can't go past that side. I think you can. Let me see. When these are apartments, see those apartments? Wow, amazing. Okay.
but look at these houses man <laughs> more than so breezy beautiful houses now also, these are um, apartments but if you just look at them just by the look by their look you just see that this they even have a truck that brings water in case uh, they have a problem with water you see that is amazing see oh now i can promise you that these apartments could be charged in dollars and uh, most of these very posh apartments most of the time are charged in dollars Okay, first of all, look at that. That's school, Zion International Christian School. I told you most of the schools that are in this in this community are international schools. Look at that, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. Look how green it is. It's lush. It's very green. See how the roads are? Huge roads. Tarmac roads. I love the way Uganda, Africa generally is very, very gifted by nature. Look at that green man. <laughs> this is amazing. Everywhere you look, there is a touch of green. Everywhere you look, there is a touch of green. You know, that's why the every like the environment is very breezy. You know, it's 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 it smells like luxury. You know. All these apartments is that okay all right then we're still in Nalia as you can see most of these areas all of it's very hard to find um, a maram road it's very hard to find a road that is not tarmacked in Alia here it, it's very very close to impossible because most of them these roads are huge they're wide and they are very tarmacked it's well organized you can look at it you know you can look at it and actually just see that this is a very very organized environment to live in so it's worth uh, the money that they say maybe because of its proximity to 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 the city center yes so you would understand why it's very expensive to live here and to buy a house or a plot of land inside here see that community is very 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 organized and it's cool you you don't hear any noise you, you can't hear people making noise no it's a residential area like literally everyone minds their own business <laughs> i hope it's not like in europe where 
I had someone tell me, a friend of mine in the USA told me that you can actually have a neighbor and, uh, and uh, probably not know who they are for over six months. And you've, you, you, you literally are neighbors, close neighbors. You don't even have a wall separating you guys. But because of the work, uh, because, you know, like in America, maybe time is money and people uh, work, 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 work. So most of the time, but like in the morning, everyone just gets out and you never, you know, meet your neighbor. Uh, like it's crazy. It's crazy uh, living like that. But here in, in Uganda, ah, everything is good. You know your neighbor in just one day. Actually, the, the moment they move in, you know them. <laughs> you know who they are because we are friendly like that we 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 are warm welcoming people whenever someone comes maybe like in the neighborhood we want to go and welcome them and uh, you know maybe give them a hug take them a drink and you know welcome them in the neighborhood you understand yeah that's who we are we are ugandans we love welcoming people we love people we are so warm people like we are i think we are the most welcoming people in the whole world and we give a lot we have a lot of love to give man we have a lot of love to give we don't care where you come from what color you are or what tribe you are we we will we, we, we welcome you with open hands we will never ask actually we, we don't even ask where you came from <laughs> we just welcome you you've come you've come that's it period you're welcome we don't ask where did you come from why did you leave why did you decide to come here? No, we just welcome you. You know? As long as you have come, see avocados. Avocado. That's avocado in that compound. It's called the Residence Drive on the street. These are called the Edge Apartments, Valley View, Kindergarten. See, these are called the Edge Apartments. See, now I think it is becoming a place for apartments like most of the people who are buying nowadays uh, would rather build apartments for either condominium or for renting that's all I don't uh, they don't uh, uh, lately I don't see uh, like maybe people uh, are buying to build their own houses most of them are building apartments see bro to let see bro is the age apartments to let you, know, you buy uh, you you either buy or sell the new buildings this is a new build oh it has good flowers wow the compound is amazing
see that stops there it doesn't continue so I think I'm stopping here myself Nalia feels like a city of its own you know Okay. This is a school, Nasara school. What I've gotten to realize, I think, I can conclude that Nalia most of Nalia is now being turned into an apartments area. Make no mistake, apartments for the high end, for the rich also, because literally it was turned into an apartments like environment. Most of these uh, standalone houses most of them uh, become very few or if not some of them have just been demolished and rebuilt you know houses like these condominiums whereby you buy a house and own it they even give you some sort of um, title for that you see they're amazing you see there are government cars in in in, this, in that parking lot so that's what i mean when i say high end Gloria comfort homes that's how these ones are called Kasha Gloria comfort homes wow just look at the greenery man the lush <laughs> this place is beautiful just Uganda is beautiful man damn look at all this hmm? green everywhere and this green is not just green these are fruits these are fruits see that that is uh, a jackfruit there are purples inside there okay palm trees yes uh, these are uh, these are also uh, uh, jackfruits and that is a plantation a banana plantation damn just have to give credit to Uganda man these apartments are crazy look at that lush the green the greenery whoa look at that it's uganda is the most beautiful country in the world you can't say any other you can't deny that <laughs> you can't you can't you can't tell me there's a country that is more beautiful than Uganda with the best weather. Do you understand? The climate here. Damn. Oh. Let's look at that. And imagine the breeze. Imagine the road. 
you man <laughs> people have to live in uganda people come and visit uganda man this is the most beautiful country come and settle here man you'll have the best of the weather the natural resources nature and the love that we give i think this is the first road that i've encountered that is not tarmacked or at least tiled for some reason uh, but the whole of Nalia is tam it has tarmacked wide roads so this is the first of its kind in Nalia that is actually still maram and not tarmacked but well the greenery <laughs> is breathtaking the houses the condominium houses now i have concluded indeed i think naya is the best place for condominium houses i think they turned it into an apartments area high-end apartments area you know this is called cosa yeah casa fortuna hmm? no, comfort homes casa fortuna comfort homes see look at that so amazing beautiful they are very very beautiful houses These apartments are just on another level. <laughs> That's what I said when I said, you see, what they called Casa Celeste for the comfort homes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But well, that's what I meant when I said it's not, yes, it's an apart, it's, it's basically turned into an apartment area. I'm coming to understand it as I go through uh, condominium apartments or a, car, a condominium building so you buy a house and own it uh, they even give you a title for that that house that you've bought but look at how beautiful and comfort, comfortable they are how they look but like I said it is an apartments area but still it's not for the poor you have to be high-end middle class to afford a condominium house around here still so make no mistake don't be deceived I'm just delighted of how Uganda is green like I don't even think the camera actually shows the extent of how the things look it's so gorgeous yeah? this country of mine huh? well I'm being selfish this country of ours <laughs> you see how this green you see those are guavas inside someone's compound the guavas, the palm trees, the avocados, the jackfruits, you see, those are also guavas, those ones you see there, see most of them are ripe, some of them are very, just starting to put, to light up, you see, so what I want to show you, these are guavas, you see, let me show you, close, can you see them, those ripe ones, yeah, those ripe ones, those yellow ones, See how beautiful this country is. See all this. You just pick and eat some and then go. 
that's how this country is I don't know if you can see them I can't see them there's a lot of light but I hope the camera can show <laughs> maybe I should pick one this you see beautiful 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 Uganda beautiful beautiful let me show you I can pick one two maybe three okay and eat you see I just picked see nobody said anything to me I just picked and you see in Africa most of the time you when you pick it from the tree you just eat it it is clean enough that's what we believe okay I know in this Western world they say you have to pick it and then go wash it but no in Africa you pick it as it is and then eat it see ah. see how beautiful it looks you pick it as it is you don't wash it well see most of the time when you go to these western worlds or we, when we go with what they say we tend to wash but Africans never used to wash these things and they never felt sick so I don't know why we start washing them all of a sudden see hello how are you mm -hmm. see how beautiful it looks I'm eating Okay, let me show you still. The amazing Nalia. As I enjoy the guava that I just picked live as you saw nothing happened to me this is how we are in Africa this is how um, how we are warm with each other in Uganda just pick the guava like if you're feeling hungry you can just move by like you see these these are jackfruit trees you move just pick and eat and I'm not gonna fall sick <laughs> or develop any diarrhea of some sort no want me to give you some maybe you want me to give you some then maybe you come to Uganda when you come to Uganda I'll give you some You don't trash. Hey Analia, when you trash, you understand? When you find some, okay, what, what I can't eat is this. See this? I can't eat that. You understand? So, I'm gonna have to keep it and trash it somewhere else. Because here, everyone is, everyone is keeper. You don't trash, that's why you see the streets are very clean. You understand? So yeah. Mmm. So tasty. Fresh from the tree. Pick it and eat it. That's what happens with our fruits, most of them. I'm sorry. 
I'm talking while eating. Okay. Choga Drive. Condominiums, apartments for rent and for sale. See more guavas, more guavas in plenty on the road. See on the streets, pick if you want, eat, get satisfied, and move. So I keep uh, wondering how. how people keep saying Africa we like we live in a desert look at all this green can this actually like really be a desert all this green this these are fruits uh, these are plants these are bananas all green you understand so how can we be in a desert <laughs> Uh, and you know how they, they, they think sometimes they some of them actually still think we live on trees they don't know that we actually some of the people in, in Africa own better mansions than they know in Europe or in America there are people here in Uganda who own mansions better than those ones you see in Hollywood you understand and you still think we sleep on trees some of them still think actually we sleep with lions like we we literally lions are everywhere like we're in the wild you understand these are streets some of them are cleaner than the streets that you have some of you guys please we don't stay with animals animals stay in the zoo others stay in the forest most of them stay where they have to be condominium houses Nalia for you and Nalia for your information it owns the biggest shopping mall in Uganda literally oh maybe let me not say that maybe there are new other malls that have been built that we don't know about every day Uganda is growing so maybe I shouldn't say that but around maybe a year ago this was the biggest shopping mall in Uganda it still is I believe it owns the big and that shopping mall is called Metro I'm, I'm taking you there right now this is the road that goes to that shopping mall uh, sugar cane these are sugar canes you see on the road 
let me show you though this this is let me show you that is a mango tree you see there it's on the road here you see that is a mango tree now this this these are avocados this is avocado you see fresh fresh on the road you see on the road fresh avocados see look look at it you see fresh avocados this tree is literally full of them all you see now that is an avocado tree i showed you a mango tree i've been showing you guavas i've been showing you jackfruit now these are banana trees plantations it's on the road it's not even hidden these are sugar canes these are yams this is yam these are yams i don't know if you know what yams are yams like there is cassava there is a cassava plant there if you if you can see yam mixed with yams like literally food is everywhere now this this is this is a yellow banana in my in my in my in my my country we call it indizi it ripens these are the bananas that you that you eat it ripens and it becomes um, yellow uh, then you eat them as bananas they, they sell them in the supermarkets but all these you see they're on the road no hassle you know like it's not even enclosed these are sugar canes you see these are sugar canes see that these are sugar cane plantations sorry you see sugar canes all these are sugar cane this is a whole plantation you see all of it inside there there are, there are mango trees so this is what i'm trying to say this is a banana plantation of sugar canes there are sugar canes here there are there are, there are bananas there like that's what i've been telling you africa is green africa is amazing africa is healthy healthy even the air, the air you breathe around here oh, damn <laughs> it's so clean you know look at that houses plantations greenery like who, who beats this how can you beat that look can you beat that yeah you can't you can't beat that you can't look it's amazing this is africa man i think this one was supposed to be a a, a washing day Or someone is just keeping their land safe. Okay. That see Metroplex. That is the biggest shopping mall in Uganda. No kidding. This. Hey, let me take you around and you see. So this is the shopping mall. This is this is the part of the supermarket and also the cinema. it has banks this metroplex shopping mall you see it here but it goes deep under i think it it goes down uh, around more than
it's all this it's vast it's big you understand that, that it's called this that is the name metroplex that metroplex so i don't want to to do a review of the super uh, the, the mall itself i just wanted to let you know so next time I'll I'll actually come and do a review of of the mall itself. So I'm just taking you through now, yeah. The mall will come later. Hey. Yes. Yes. What's your name? Alvin. Yeah, Calvin. Alvin. Alvin. You watch YouTube? Yes. You do? Oh. That's a YouTube channel. It's Kash Mugisha. Yeah. Yeah. You know these rich people they build their houses and then they they hide them. <laughs> I don't I don't understand how that is. You build a beautiful house, very, very gorgeous, and then you, you put up a wall. Ah, oh, this is going to be a modern house, a beautiful modern house, this. You look at it, still building it. Looks like it's going to be very beautiful. I was saying you build a beautiful house and then put up a very long wall for people not to see it. I don't understand that. This is called the woodpecker drive. <laughs> woodpecker. Woodpecker drive. <laughs> That's amusing. Woodpecker. <laughs> Trying so hard to hide their houses. They are my they are my, well, some of them are not mansions but they are beautiful houses but they try so hard to hide them see avocados everywhere you see these these avocados growing outside you see these are still little they are still growing Oh, these houses they built very high walls so that someone doesn't see them I don't understand why well it's still their privacy so we can't we can't deter them from wanting privacy no This is how these ones, these apartments decided to to preserve their water up there. It serves all these apartments. It's cute. So this is the supermarket, sorry, the, sh the mall, the shopping mall, the Metroplex mall. All of this up to the other end it's like a kilo maybe half a kilometer or a kilometer something like that i mean like wide wide it is so huge yeah i think this is the kitchen side this is behind it this is behind the the, the shopping mall but all you see on top all that is a shopping mall but it goes underground Nalia 
Kampala. Like I said, the road continues to Jinja, but you take off, you branch off, and then enter Nalia Kampala. But still, after Nalia, you go to Shariwajala, you continue. See the beautiful roads? All this is Metroplex. And this is the roads. You see how beautiful they are? You see how Uganda is beautiful, man. Just look at it and admire the beauty. And admire the beauty. This is all Metroplex. Like I said, this is the biggest mall in, uh, in Uganda. And it's located in Nalia. Look at these beautiful roads. This is Metroplex. Those are people's houses. Their beauty. Their beauty. The beauty of my country, man. Gifted by nature. The pearl of Africa. It has so many names. The pearl of Africa, because of its beauty, whoever came here made sure like they were mesmerized. They had to give it a name. The pearl of Africa. The land gifted by nature. The land of milk and honey whatever there are so many names but they all show you that they appreciate the climate and the beauty of uganda you can't beat this no country in the world can beat this climate the nature that we have in uganda no no show me one country and i'll prove you wrong metroplex mall nadia branch That is it. It had wow, I didn't have I didn't know it had Woolworths actually. I didn't know that. Wow. I should come and give you a tour of this uh, mall. Indeed. It's amazing. I think it has so many surprising things inside there. I will come and give you a tour of this mall. Look at the beauty, man! <laughs> I'm so proud of this country. Look at the beauty, look at the beauty, look at the roads. Damn, man! <laughs> I'm so proud. Eh? I'm so very, very proud of my country. Look, just look. This is Nadia, all of it. That is Nalia. Nalia, when you go to Nalia, you take this route. You go to Kampala, you go underpass, you take the other route. And when you go straight forward, you take that route and go straight to Jinja. The land gifted by nature, Uganda, the pearl of Africa. <laughs> Actually, this is not supposed to be the pearl of Africa. This is supposed to be the pearl of the world. <laughs> because I actually, on this channel, I haven't showed you, besides the climate that you see, the beautiful sun. Look, look at that, that beautiful sun. Besides showing you the, the amazing climate, and, and you know the green everything I haven't showed you the like what what really defines us you know the lakes uh, the rivers the mountains the nature the animals all these things I'm going to show you on this channel 
just subscribe Nalia when you go to Nalia you take this route you go to Kampala you go underpass you take the other route and when you go straight forward you take that route and go straight to Jinja The land gifted by nature, Uganda, the pearl of Africa. <laughs> okay, this is not supposed to be the pearl of Africa. This is supposed to be the pearl of the world. <laughs> because I actually, on this channel, I haven't showed you, besides the climate that you see, the beautiful sun. Look, look at that, that beautiful sun. Besides showing you the, the amazing climate, and and you know the green everything i haven't showed you the like what what really defines us you know the lakes uh, the rivers the mountains the nature the animals all these things i'm going to show you on this channel just subscribe if you're here for the very first time please thank you for clicking but please subscribe like share comment please comment and uh, if you're a returning subscriber i love you so much thank you so much for pm for keeping on keeping on keeping me on and uh, watching my content this gives me a lot of of uh, of it's like fuel for me whenever you come back and watch my my content i love you thank you so very much keep coming back keep coming back and please use my number for whatsapp you can call me it doesn't matter you can call me on whatsapp it doesn't matter the number that i leave every video that i make every vlog that i make i make sure that i leave a number so please use it use it like if you want to come to uganda please you can contact me for anything i won't i won't charge you anything just make sure you contact me and we'll talk